The goal of this video is to introduce some of the different tools and techniques you can use to create, protect, sell, and distribute an ebook from your website. There are a lot of authoring tools that will allow you to enter the text and images uh, that you want to put on each page of your ebook along with the formatting, and then they'll generate the ebook typically as a Mac or Windows application. So for example, on a Mac, it'd be a .app file, and on Windows, a .exe file. Let's take a look at an example here where we have a simple ebook where we can click through the various pages of the book, or we can jump to the first page of a specific chapter. Once you've created your ebook with an authoring tool, the next step in the process is to protect it so it can be uniquely activated to a specific customer computer. This ensures that only paying customers can access your book. So we can start that process with a tool like AppProtect, where we'll launch AppProtect and we'll select our ebook that we want to protect and uh, put in an output folder where we want to generate the protected version of that ebook. And uh, we're going to start with just a simple manual activation process. So we'll just click the uh, Build Protected Application button. You have to wait a few seconds and we have now generated a protected version of the ebook uh, which we can rename to whatever we want and uh, start selling to customers. When a customer buys and launches your protected ebook for the first time, they'll be presented with an enter password dialog. They'll give you the password number shown in the dialog and you're going to type that into the AppProtect application, click the password button, and give them the unique password they need. After typing in the password and clicking OK, your ebook is now permanently activated on the customer computer. Now let's consider a more automated way of handling the activation process with serial numbers. If you have an online activation server, you can put a URL to your activation web page in this field and set the serial number checkbox. And now when we generate the protected application, we'll see that it's actually going to prompt for a serial number that you give to the customer at the time of purchase. So we'll go back to our output folder. Uh, here's our generated uh, ebook, our protected ebook. And if we launch this, it's now prompting for a serial number. And the customer will just enter that serial number that they receive from you at the moment of purchase. And once they click Activate Now, that information is going to be sent to an online activation server to determine whether activation can be granted to this computer. If you're using AppProtect, Quick License, or some of the other protection licensing tools from Excel software, you have several choices for online activation servers. If you go to excelsoftware.com, uh, you can read about some of those choices. The uh, most popular approach, uh, which is also the simplest way of doing things, is to get an account on the Safe Activation Service. That way you'll just log into the account, fill in a few web pages with your information, and then you'll uh, activation process will be automated with serial numbers. You can also self-host an activation server on a Windows-based website with the uh, web activation product, or you can self-host your own activation server on a Windows or Linux-based website with a desktop license server product. Let's shift gears now and look at a totally different way of producing an ebook. EPUB is an international standard for ebooks. There are a lot of authoring tools you can download for free, and then you can basically put in the text, images, scripts, and other information to construct the ebook as an EPUB file. Once you've constructed it, uh, we can use a different tool called DocProtect that allows us to select that EPUB file select an icon file. For example, here we have a, an icon file on a Mac computer, but you can also get an icon file on a Windows computer. Uh, and uh, also we'll select the output file that we want to go to. And we'll set up a few options. Uh, 
we have the option of doing a manual activation like we looked at before, or we can uh, use an online activation server and have an, an automated activation process with the serial number. So however we set that up, uh, we'll click the build button and again it's going to generate a protected application for Mac or Windows uh, that can then be distributed to customers. There's one additional option uh, that you'll get if you use this approach. You can generate mobile applications for Android phones and tablets which can be downloaded and activated in kind of a similar fashion. Here we see our protected ebook with our custom icon applied and when we launch it it will prompt for a uh, manual or uh, serial number activation however we have it set up. So if we enter uh, the computer unique password that we generate from within DocProtect and click OK then we'll see a copy of our uh, a, our uh, ebook presented uh, to the user, uh, slightly different format, but the user can essentially uh, click through the chapters and scroll through the pages of a chapter or use the table of contents to go to a specific chapter or go forward or backwards one chapter at a time within the contents. So to review the process, we started with uh, an authoring tool that can uh, generate our ebook in EPUB format, and then we use DocProtect to, pr to build the protected Mac or Windows application. We can also generate a protected Android application, which is a .apk file. We can put those protected applications on our website with a download link, and then just sell serial numbers to customers so they can just download and activate with the serial number. Now let's shift gears and look at yet another way you can protect and distribute your ebook. SafeWeb app is a player application that can be freely downloaded for Mac, Windows, Linux, or Android devices. And there's a capability for uh, generating a protected ebook that plays within Safe Web App Player by using the Doc Protect application. So if we launch the Doc Protect application, you'll see there that you can export a SWAD file. A SWAD file is essentially a, a protected file that contains an ebook. So we'll just click that button and export this to our output folder. And once uh, we've done that, we can then upload this file to some location on our website, and then we'll have to fill in an activation server uh, to be able to deliver that automatically to the Safe Web App Player, which uh, will be downloaded onto a user's device. Other videos are available that discuss all the details of how to deliver EPUB, PDF, MP4, and other types of files to end users through the Safe Web App Player. So we'll skip over that and kind of look at the user experience. When the user uh, launches the Safe Web App Player, they're going to be presented with a screen where they can type an application name that you've assigned to your uh, application that you're selling and add it uh, after serial number activation. Now you can't quite see that because it's cut off my screen recording here. But essentially, uh, they're going to type in the name into a field, click an add button, and then they're going to have to uh, enter the serial number that they purchased from you. And once they've done that, it'll go through a quick little install process, and then there they are. Uh, they'll now be uh, viewing the uh, ebook. Uh, it takes them right to the table of contents where they can click to a certain chapter read through the chapter or uh, go back to the contents. Uh, they can also forward through the various chapters of the book or back one chapter at a time. If you go back to the list panel, you'll see that uh, this is the name of uh, that we gave assigned to this application when we set it up in the activation server uh, that supports the Safe Web app. And uh, if you have lots of different ebooks you want to sell, you can actually create your own index uh, with a little bit of information and a picture of each of those uh, ebooks. 
and then the user can see everything you have to offer and then they can buy a serial number and activate each individual one and then they'll all be added to the list here and then they can again go to any one of those just by uh, selecting it and click right to it. To summarize, we've looked at various ways of creating your ebook and then protecting it, uh, activating it, and deploying it by either a direct download from your website or through the Safe Web App Player. Let's talk just about a moment about the various ways you can sell serial numbers to activate your book. One way to do that is to use a PayPal merchant account, account and just create a simple buy button where the user clicks the buy button, enters credit card information, you'll be sent information from PayPal about that purchase, and then you can just email the serial number to the customer. A slightly more automated way is to uh, link your PayPal merchant account to the safe activation server so that when the purchase occurs, PayPal posts the order data and that triggers an immediate email from safe activation to the customer with the download link and the serial number they need. There's some dedicated videos for this and uh, more elaborate processes. For example, if you go to uh, excelsoftware.com, under the video section, uh, here you'll find uh, a video example where uh, you're setting up an online store where you can sell various kinds of products. And, and uh, once the payment information is collected from the user, uh, a serial number and download link can be immediately uh, delivered to them to activate the product they purchased.